all morning. <laughs> Welcome back to Undisputed. Hey, back. happy to be back with you guys, man. Last good. time you were here, yes, you made a shocking statement about Magic Johnson that dropped all of our jaws. And guess what? You were right. Roll that tape ahead of that curve. So in hindsight, put it back in perspective for us. Put it back in perspective. To see, this is what everybody wants. When I say things, they like to say, either you wrong or right. But I always know I'm always right. <laughs> I can't help it. And it's just, it's just like, that's from my opinion. So it don't have to be right or it have to be wrong, but it's right to me because it's how I feel about it. And some of the conversations that we had, that's what it, I just didn't come out and just say that just to be saying it. Hmm. So you were not shocked that Magic suddenly quit, right? No, I'm not shocked about anything. I'm never shocked about anything. There's only one thing I'm shocked about is if my wife leave me. <laughs> Other than that, I ain't shocked about nothing. OK, so what happened behind the scenes as far as you were hearing between Magic, Palinka, and Jeannie? Well, if you say you're going to do something and it doesn't happen, that's when I kind of lose faith in you. Not at really faith, but I, I lose the value of what we were talking about. Right, the value of his word. It, it, exactly, and, and and sometimes somebody above doesn't allow you to do that, or or you just do it on your own. Right. But either way, it's, it's how I feel about it. Then, right. Situation. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things he said: we keep family together, and if you're gonna keep family together, uh, they told me some things what they wanted Lonzo to do. I want Lonzo to get stronger. I want him to get you know faster. And I want him to lead this team. Okay, if you want him to lead this team, now you need to do something for Lonzo. Why don't you get him a piece that works very well with him, which is his brother. Well, which you, brother? Anyone, both <laughs> of them. Both of them, that's what I'm trying to tell people. But you've got to get Jello first. You at least got to give him a chance to play with Lonzo. You should at least got him in summer league or anything. I thought they was going to take him as a last pick at least. So you got one more pick, go ahead and get him. But why wouldn't you do something to help Lonzo? Why wouldn't you get his brother who has the best chemistry with him and he can play. So they don't even give him that opportunity. So that's when I just like, okay, whatever you guys say, you're not, you're not meaning nothing. Because you say keep family together and then you don't even bring him in. So they led you to believe, so Magic I, led you to believe that he would at least give Jello an opportunity. Yes. Me and man rock. Behind closed doors, we did, we did talking like, just like grown men. We don't have to put it all out there. Right. But hey, I ain't saying put my boy on the team or nothing like that. Let him play with Lonzo and see how he do. If he does raggedy, then he'd be like, oh, I don't think it'll work. Right. But let him and Lonzo do their thing together. They've always been successful together. So that's why I was just like, I can't roll with y'all now. Mm. So we've repeatedly heard that nobody out there trusts Rob Palenka in the, the NBA business world. Can well, you? it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. If you, if you was an agent, you owe some people some favors. Mm. And that's why you get some of these other picks that you like, why did he take that guy? Mm. The reason he took it, you know, this dude a favor from back in the day. Mm. I don't know too many people who can run, you know, run something like that if you were an agent. Because mm. there's too many flaws. Do you have a specific pick? Mo Wagner, maybe? Michigan kid? Well, I'm just that saying. A favor that, he that, that had to repaid? be a favor. Uh, the, the other kid, was it Xavi or whatever? Yeah. I mean, there's some better players out there. Okay. But uh, when, you, when you owe certain people, uh, it's just like, okay, you go overseas to look at some people. But then you say you don't go overseas. <laughs> you know, it's usually the ball boys, they're overseas. Anybody, they're not in the U.S., they don't look at them. But you go over there and look at somebody else. So that's why I'm like, don't, don't tell me you owe somebody something. Because you, the guys you pick, you put them against my boy, my boy killed them. Mm. We keep hearing Linda Rambis is the new shadow owner that Jeannie listens to Linda. Do you buy that? Have you seen that in operation? No, I see them together. I see them as just two good friends that's been together for a long time, and they don't want to... Well, here's the thing. In, in this business, the majority of the owners are men. They ain't got no feelings. Right. You ain't doing it by, go. The women, they're a little more sensitive. Oh, I love you. You're a great guy. I love you. I can't get rid of you. So for them to, you know, uh, talk with each other, Linda, and, and that's her friend. So they're gone talk like that, and right. then people are going to take it a different way, like, oh, you only listen to her. But she's been around her for a long time. Long time. So... Mm -hmm. Is that a good or a bad thing? Well... 
Because I, 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 how you mix business, you know, they say you got to keep family you, out of it. Right, 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 right. They, they, they say that. It's probably a good thing for her because it comforts her. Because she's on a, she's in a plateau by herself. She's right. like mm -hmm. but the only woman that's like owning a, her and Gail a franchise. Benson, now yeah. Benson the Pelican. Yes, yeah, so, but, it's, but it's hard, right. you know, to come in here in a man's world like this in that, that type of environment. So, so that's why I think it's comforting for her to have a friend at least to talk to. You don't want to just be by yourself all the time. Hmm. Do you like the direction Genie has taken this franchise? Um, no, I ain't gonna say I like the direction unless you have all three of my boys, then I love the direction. <laughs> but as long as you, you know, if you put too much emotion into it, you're gonna make some bad decisions. You're gonna make some bad decisions. And that's why sometimes somebody gotta be, as they say, I ain't gonna say the bad woman, but the bad guy. That's the bad guy for a reason. Mm. So she obviously, like Luke Walton a lot off the yes, court, yes. and I think that's where you're going with this. Well, when she when she first brought him in, it's like, oh, this is my guy. Just mm -hmm. brought him in. I'm he was take, like a son. I'm, to I'm Phil. taking over yeah. the Lakers. I'm mm -hmm. pushing my brothers to the side. He's in here with me. So you feel you owe him something because he's coming in with you as you becoming the boss. And I got to give you credit for this one. You're way ahead of that curve also because you were the first to say Luke's wrong for this team. He was wrong for your son. Right. He's hard on your son the rookie year. He'd play him five minutes, pull him, not play him for the next 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. And, and see, that's why I can say that. I just didn't say it just because I don't like Luke. I don't, I'm not going to say I don't like a person. I don't like the way he's coaching. Right. I don't have to like that. But uh, as far as seeing him on the street or something like that, he's probably a great guy. When we first came into the league, you know, I was like, oh, I, I like Luke because he's young. This is what I was thinking. He don't have an old school mind. Right. Where, where some guys are set in their ways where uh, most people are are stuck in the, the, the old system where you got to get under a veteran's leadership. Right. Understand and not understand it. Like sometimes you get a guy that don't need no veteran leadership. He already know how to lead. That's my boy. He built for LA. Cause, Cause I groomed him the right way. You give him fancy cars early. Fancy cars don't mean nothing to him. He don't be out in the clubs. He don't chase the women. LA got some of the most beautiful women in the world. And there's always something to do. Get on the red carpet, go do this. My boys to themselves, not like, oh, like a little hermit shell or nothing like that, but they don't be wilding out. They don't get distracted. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's why people like, oh, well, why is Lonzo rapping? He should be working on his free throws. Who's to say he didn't do his free throws already? And instead of going to the club, he go in the studio booth, do something that you love to do, stay mm -hmm. out of trouble. So it became clear LeBron was no fan of Luke as a coach either. So is this right. a, it's a good thing for both Lonzo and LeBron then? There's no more Luke? Oh, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely good. On the, on the fact that Lonzo got to get healthy. Mm. He get healthy, and then uh, him and LeBron got the same type of game. Mm. So that's why they were the first ones to, you know, have a triple-double in a long time. On the fact they, they know each other's game. Their IQ is very high. They got the same thing. Winning will, will allow them to become closer, and everybody's going to be like, wow, LeBron is mentoring Lonzo. He ain't got to mentor Lonzo. They just got to win together. Right. Because you can have all the mentoring in the world. If you're losing, who cares? Or you can not mentor at all and win. And then you're like, hey, it's a great thing to say. Last year, Lonzo had surgery. This year, I don't think he's having surgery. So right. you go from rehabbing to actually training. Mm -hmm. How much of a difference is that going to make on Lonzo's game this year? Lonzo's game this year is going to be solid on the fact that they have a, a, a new trainer that's working with him. Right. Okay. Uh, I didn't feel that he was doing the proper training when he got hurt. And I, I know you was telling me, like, boy, you can't run no heels and can't do this, right. but you have to do what got you there. Right. And when you stop doing that, now you get these little nicks. It's just like training, he used these rubber bands, a lot of lightweight, a lot of reps. Yeah. I said, you can't get strong doing that. Right. That's why my middle son, Jello, he stayed with me, super strong, because he's doing it my way. We go over to heavyweights to get thicker and stronger. But to keep that motion going, you got to keep shooting while you're right. getting thick. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so therefore, then you don't get hurt. you be out there hurting people. And that's where I told Lonzo this. Forget about whatever's going on in your, in your life as far as the outside stuff with, with, with the brand, with the trading, with this. Don't worry about nothing. Get healthy so you can play. So that's his main thing right now. And his mind is at ease where it's like even Jello's working out with him and stuff, doing the upper body and stuff. So you know? he's healthy heading into the office. He's, he's, he's going to be healthy. He's still got a little ways to go. Okay. But I was like, it's not a rush because it's like, you know, training camp don't start till September. Right. So just make sure that's your date. So we can go slow as possible all right here as long as we're getting it in. Right. 
and a little bit of time. Don't let nobody rush you back where you're like, oh, I'm trying to play in the summer. I'm trying to do this. No. But you think he'll be ready for training camp? Oh, he will be ready for training camp. He will be ready for training Are camp. Are you sure they won't trade him? Oh, I said they won't trade him. They're going to trade Lonzo. Best guy in the business. He got so much going for him, more than anybody. He got his own brand. He's likable. He's marketable. You don't have to worry about him being in trouble. He don't do no drugs. I He's, agree with all that, yeah, but you can't but, shoot 42% from the free throw line. You just can't. But, but you can win. Okay. You can shoot. You, you, if, you if, know if, he's got if, it. If, if you shoot 40, you know what? I could have fixed that a long time ago. Free throws. Why I didn't you? Here, here, Why didn't you? Here. Why should I? They ain't paying me. Lakers Man, go ahead. That's your son. You want your son, son to son, because son. they're not paying that's, you. That's, that's my son, right? I could have went in and fixed that. Well, fix it. I'm not going to fix it. I fixed it now. Luke is gone. Oh, I'm like, you know what? Look, look, I ain't going to take all the credit. No, it's very easy to fix free throws. Free throws, you ain't got to go out there. It's a mindset. Right. That boy been 90% shooter ever since he been shooting. Now, my other two boys shoot 90%. He was a better free throw shooter than them. But when people was telling him all this stuff, they don't know how to be hard enough on him to make him make free throws. I'll tell you what I could have told him. Every time you miss three free throws, I want $10,000. So if you miss one this game, two the next game, mm -hmm. one more miss, 10 grand coming to me. Okay. Every three misses, so 10 grand. So why don't you do it, do it to him now? You can do that. I could, but I'm not. Because? I don't feel like it. Mm. Man, this is LeVar. You sound like Shannon Sharp. LeVar. I don't feel like it. <laughs> LeVar, that's your son. You he's know he's always going to be my son. You know he can't, as the point guard, he's going to be on the court at the end of the game. And you can't every have a free throw he You has can't to. have Hackers' uh, uh, situation. Please have Hackers' oh, I want to see it. And I'll be there in that game. See, I told you so. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm just joking. Just joking. Mm. Here, LeVar, you know you're supposed to have a pick. Hey, you can shoot 42% in the beginning of the game, but you better shoot 100 at the end. You better. But he wasn't shooting that, LeVar. He wasn't at the end in the game. Keep doing that, Luke. Don't start in the mm. fourth quarter. Mm. <laughs> Hurting yourself. So would it tear you apart if they no. traded him? Ain't going to tear me apart to okay. nothing. All right. You know why? As long as he playing basketball... I'm having a good time. What if, how about this here? Yes. What if, okay, they keep him, they trade him, but the other two boys get opportunities, it's just not with Zoe. Would you be happy? Are, are, are here's, you... here's the thing. I'm going to be happy when all three of my boys are in the NBA. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Do they have be... to be together? Do they have to be on the same team? Why can't they be like the Holiday Brothers and one be over? Who's the Holiday Brothers? Stop it. Who? You know who they are. Do they got their own brand? I can't know about no brand. Okay, I don't hold know them. Hold on, time out. One guy's an all-star. I don't know all-star. Hold on, time out. Time out, what good is a brand Ooh. if you ain't winning? Ooh. That's what you just told me. Now, what, you keep talking about. What's good is a brand? Either you got one or you don't. I don't care about no brand. Either you got one or my, you don't. You my got brand one? is winning. You got one? No, my brand is All winning. All right, be quiet. I, 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 no, I want no brand. <laughs> you, I want to win. You don't want no brand? No. Why not? I, I'm my own brand. After you leave, nobody going to know you. Sir. I'm okay. No, I'm still going to be in the ground. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be in the ground. I'm going to be in the ground with triple Bs on top. No, no, I don't want to be triple You fly around on a helicopter. You're going to say, big baller right there with triple Bs on it. Why can't it be enough? Why? To have this, your boys it's, in it's, the NBA. It's, it's enough for you. No, it's for you. No, 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 not That's for That's a me. huge accomplishment to no, have three sons me, in the no. NBA? Yeah, all on the same team. Has that ever happened? No. Okay, then leave And it probably never it will. Do. It's going to happen. Trust and believe that. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Don't act like I ain't right all the time. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. Hey. Stop doing that. I know a scenario right now where they all could be on the same team. You yeah, but me, it's not the you, Lakers. You want me to tell you? Okay. It ain't got to be the Lakers. Okay, I'm giving the Lakers the first right of refusal. Don't be stupid. Get all three of the ball boys. Who's not going to come watch that show? Please tell me. I'm trying to win, LeVar. Who's not going to? What, you think my boys don't win? No, so you try to, you try to keep creating you think reality they don't, you, you, you think they don't win? You reality show, no. Trying to create one. Yep. Well, last time you told us it was going to be the Phoenix Suns, as in S O N S. Hey, right? that's what I told them. That right? was the weakest team in the league yep. at the time. And I said, that's where I want to start at the bottom. Because everybody's going to think. You who? start at the bottom. How do you think they got the second pick? Ooh. The Lakers was at the bottom. That's how they got the second pick in the draft. Don't you think I've been telling my boys that ever since they've been babies? I always had them playing on a raggedy team. Yeah. That's what you're going to. Hmm. Okay. So it's nothing new to them. So with Brad, Brad, uh, bring the Lakers up. Get all three of my boys. I guarantee we bring them up. Hmm. <sighs> All right, we're going to see if we can get out of you which team you're talking about. But we got to take a break for just a moment. Okay. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more LeVar Ball coming right up.